clinical rotation is in pediatrics. ¿Qué onda, plebes? My name is Mario Navarro. I'm the Mexican PA, a third year PA student at UC Davis in Sacramento, California. If you find this type of content helpful, be sure to hit that like button below and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you guys, the animal. Let's get into it. So at UC Davis, one of our rotations is required to be in a rural health location. And to just put it simply, the school receives some grant money that requires us to train somewhere that is not heavily populated. I just uh, ate my lunch. Hopefully I don't have stuff on my mustache. This morning I was pretty busy. A bunch of sports physicals and, and a lot of baby physicals. So a lot of six month olds, eight month olds. So I feel like half of this job of working in pediatrics is really reassurance, reassuring parents that their kid is okay, reassuring that they don't have, you know, a bacterial infection and just really helping ease the minds of the parents. And it's almost like you have two patients. You have, you know, the child or baby in front of you and then mom or dad or whoever the caregiver is of the child who's asking all of these questions. And so, I enjoy it. Hi, mamas. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. 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 I am on my way to Starbucks because we were so busy today that I did not make any dent in my practice questions. Um, I am about a week away from taking my last end of rotation exam for pediatrics. And so I need to do practice questions. Typically, I see about, I'm gonna say like 15 patients a day. Like, yeah, around there. All right, Plebes, a little update. Just got out, did a sports physical for a six-year-old and uh, just also did a sick visit for a kiddo with an ear infection. And yeah, it turned out when I looked in the ear, it kind of looked like this. What we do for this is essentially start some ear antibiotics and it has a little steroid, which will help with the inflammation and knock down some of that bacteria. All right, so just came out of a room, but we got to take care of a rash for a little girl and then did a well shot exam on another kiddo. But the rash was really interesting. I wasn't sure what to make of it. I thought it was just like a contact dermatitis, but my preceptor walked in there and he fully recognized it as an impintigo. And so it kind of had this kind of appearance and it was all over the intragluteal folds of this uh, kiddo who had been swimming a lot and wearing her swimsuit a lot. And so it sounds like she got some contact dermatitis and then it kind of got infected and she ended up getting this kind of characteristic eruptions on the skin. Uh, all right, Plebes, so that is it for today. Um, I still have about 25-ish more questions, Rosh review questions that I need to do. So I'm gonna go to Starbucks again, bang those out, and then just enjoy the weekend with the wife.
Buenos dias, plebes. And today is Saturday morning, and we ended up getting some good rest, sleeping in. So the game plan today is to go up to Trinidad, which is about 30 minutes away from here, and uh, go see this lighthouse that they're apparently opening today or something like that. But I have about 30 minutes, and I'm gonna take advantage and knock out the second half of the practice questions. I did some of them already this morning. And so the time to beat right now is 35 minutes. So let's see if I can get that done. It's hot in here. All right, Plevis, we are leaving the town of Trinidad. We ended up having breakfast and I ended up getting a haircut. Okay. And we're heading out to, what's it called? Fern, Fern Canyon, which actually one of the Jurassic Park movies was filmed there. So we're gonna go see some dinosaurs. <laughs> So I actually wanna stop the video here to highlight two of my biggest tips to excel on your pediatrics rotation. One is before you walk in the door, try to memorize your vaccine schedule. And I mean, this may seem like a huge mountain that you're about to scale because there's so many vaccines. There's DTaP, rotavirus, MMR, hep A, pneumococcal, MMRV, there's a combination vaccillus. There's literally so many immunizations and it can kind of be intimidating. But in the description down below, I've attached a link to this chart that I was able to memorize pretty easily. And you can too. And do what you can to memorize those vaccinations. The second tip that I wanna talk about is actually this book that I have here called Soap for Family Medicine. And so this is the book that I am talking about and SOAP stands for Subjective Objective Assessment and Plan. And usually PA school will teach you about the SOAP method. The nice thing about this book is that it has the things that you should be asking for the most common complaints. Here's kind of the outline of the complaints that are covered in this book. As you can see here, it's pretty extensive. And then you have your woman's health, first trimester, second trimester visits, amenorrhea, bleeding during pregnancies, infertility, mastalgia, menopause, and then your pediatric section. Things that you wanna ask for a newborn exam versus the well-child exams, and abdominal pain, all these things, dermatology, orthopedic conditions, and then psychiatric issues. And so really by far my biggest recommendation I can give you guys for your clinical rotations. And so I had the physical copy and I was actually taking screenshots of this with my iPhone and converting it into actual word text. Um, but they have a PDF copy and I'm sure that probably much, much faster to just copy and paste that. But what you're gonna wanna do is something like this. And so as you can see here, this is essentially that same book kind of converted into an outline. And the, in order to kind of do this panel here where you can quickly click to the chief complaint that you wanna access, um, actually you're gonna wanna use this outline tool here and that'll allow you to convert this stuff into a clickable outline in the close outline view. And this is essentially what I was talking about here where you go split view and then to actually get this panel on the left, you're gonna to wanna to go to view and then what you wanna do 
is make sure the navigation panel is on. Click here. And now this is essentially what my computer would look like every time I went into a room. And so I had on the right, the blank document for me to take notes. On the left, the questions for whatever chief complaint that I would get. And then essentially my preceptor would say, hey, go into room number three, they are having your pain. And I would go here, click on the Ketotitis Media or Externa and have all the questions that I was about to ask in the room. And then I would type this up here on the right. When you think about it, anytime providers are in the room talking to a patient, 99% of providers are not using pen and paper. And when I first started my clinical rotations, that's what I was using. And I know I had recommended before to use a little like pen and notepad. And it's good to have that because it's not all preceptors are gonna allow you to use your own computer. But you wanna practice like you play. And in practice, we're gonna be using computers. You're gonna be either having a scribe or you yourself are gonna be walking into the room with a workstation and you're gonna be typing up notes in real time. And so anything you can do to essentially get you exposed to that is uh, I think gonna just help you be a more efficient and productive provider. Gonna play with today is Sunday and we are visiting the small Victorian town of Ferndale. Here, the wife. And yeah, it's pretty, pretty neat gear. Check this out. So far this morning, diagnosed a contact dermatitis from poison oak, and uh, we ended up doing a steroid shot for that girl. Saw some uh, pretty gnarly diarrhea in the kiddo, acute gastroenteritis, that's probably viral. So we just reassured dad to continue to give fluids. All right, playlist, so we got off for lunch kind of early today. It's 11.45 a.m. still. And today, actually, the practice intentionally did not schedule a bunch of patients to leave slots open for um, anyone over the long weekend that needed kind of like acute care stuff. And so today has actually been kind of chill, which is really nice. And I'm also able to just kind of spend a bit more time with my patients. Buenos dias, plebes. Today is Tuesday. No, today is Wednesday, September 6th. Today is my last day of clinical rotations ever. Good. I got some donuts for the clinic crew and this is your reminder to at the end of your rotations always try to show your love and thankfulness to the people who allow you to do your job and training so I'm talking the medical assistants the CNAs the nurses and everyone who's involved in helping you in your student experience you want to show them some love it's the least you can do especially because if you got into PA school you probably were a medical assistant or a CNA or something like that so yeah, pay it forward. After this, you're probably wondering what's next. We I have to be back in Sacramento because I'm still in Eureka. And I have to be back in Sacramento for my end of rotation pediatrics exam that is on Friday. So tomorrow is Thursday, we're gonna be driving back. And then after that, next week we have a three or four day pants review, eight to five, just to kind of get our brains all prepped up and ready well oiled to get ready for the pants. And the last day of school is September 15th, Friday, September 15th. And that it will be my official PA oath ceremony. You know, get to wear a long white coat. Can't yet sport the PAC because you have to first take your exam, your pants exam and pass it before you can put PAC on your coat. All right, there's a little update so far. Done a couple sports physicals and saw Another kiddo with a concussion fell off a scooter at. Actually had loss of consciousness 
um, he's fine. They cleared him in the ED, and so we we're just making sure um, he's not having any new symptoms for a concussion. But overall, pretty interesting uh, day, and we'll see what the rest of the day brings. I just got out of another room waiting for my preceptor. Did another set of physicals for a two-year-old and then just a two-month-old, and so they all look good. And getting them ready for you know another year of life, making sure that they're nice and healthy. And then right before lunch, we're going to be doing a circumcision. So we got all this stuff set up for that. All right, Blair, there's a little post-lunch update. And we actually did not end up doing a circumcision. And, and then just saw a girl with mono. And, but she had the classic posterior um, and posterior lymphadenopathy, kind of sharing water bottles with other people in her class. Her throat actually legit looked like this. It was this bad. As you can see, pretty gnarly. Exudates, and so what we did is we swapped this white stuff and swapped it for strep, and then also did a mono spot. So, yeah, overall, seeing some pretty interesting pathologies today. Really good last day of clinical training. All right, Blaris, so we had a little surprise visit from the wife and dog son. And just like that, we are done with our clinical training of PA school. All right, plebes, I am here with my companoa. And that is it for this video. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Remember, sigan echándole ganas. Vale la pena todas las horas de estudio. Todo el tiempo que estás sentado atrás del escritorio. Quemándote las pestañas. Putting in that work and just continue to do that it's it's worth it the work is important and we need more providers like you so animal players